Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. My name is Jackie Chan, I'm 20 years old, new on YouTube here, and I've been playing also for about four and a half years right now. The reason why I decided to all the blue make this video or in general start this video series was because in the last few months I have overall had a really really good improvement and truly learned a lot about myself and about this game I just wanted to share with you especially the difficulties uh, I had and the things I had to confront and also just some general advice or tips and tricks I learned on the way to improve faster. The main goal is basically to help out each and every OSU player but I also look forward to looking into some topics more specifically in the future. For your information all of the clips you're seeing in the background are recorded from my live stream. I stream about four times a week, three to four times, really depends. But yeah, that's basically it from me. I have nothing left to say except for get yourself a drink or snack and enjoy. My approach to improvement has drastically shifted over the past few months and years. To be honest, in the beginning I didn't even know what I was doing. I was just mashing the buttons, trying to pass maps I couldn't even play. My consistency was horrible and yeah, basically I couldn't even stream 160 BPM for more than 10 notes. It was uh, really crazy. But suddenly, just a few months ago, my style completely changed. And I have a new approach that is more long-term oriented now and really focuses on improving overall. Now I really focus on, like I said, improving in the long term and really avoiding those injuries and just being able to always have that slight improvement that you'll be able to learn the hard maps that you want to play but that are not quite possible for you yet. So. The first thing I did to develop my playstyle and in general to even look at improvement was that I had to ask myself a question and that question was what do I really want to achieve in this game? And to be honest it came down to me just wanting or trying to be the most perfect and well-rounded player I could possibly be, always striving to pass harder maps and looking for new, different, nice songs that can be passed or potentially even FC'd. Why should I even play on a 6 star map that I can play perfectly already except for a few misses? When I could instead just play another map that is higher in stars and overall just more crazy. So I really push my boundaries and overall improve a lot more than I would have had if I just trained consistency on a 6 star map. That's the way it goes for me. A well-rounded player is someone who can basically play everything. Looking at you, Kokizi. He can play an AR9 250 BPM jump map, as well as the easy mod. He is also really great at streams and has a great aim and is able to play hard rock really, really good. This player is basically not lacking in any area when it comes to Ozu. I would really like to introduce you to my personal tips and tricks when it comes to the different, most important skill branches in Osu. The most important three areas for me are reading, stamina and aim, in that order. First of all, reading. For reading, I basically tell you, do what you want. Go out there, get Osu supporter or go on the website and download as many fun maps as you can find and, and play these maps to get to know all the different patterns. The second most important part is stamina. Here I have the technique called force and rhythm. Please keep in mind that the switches and keys you are currently using might make a big difference here because what you're gonna focus on with this technique is that you decrease the force you actually take when pushing a button. So therefore you will use less stamina and have more ability to focus on the rhythm. But like I said, the switches and if your switch is linear or clicky will make a big big difference 
overall when trying this technique and if you have a clicky and non-linear switch it might be a bit more difficult for you to do this in my opinion. Just by decreasing the force a bit you push with you in the long term have so much more stamina for maps and that made it possible for me to play maps that I couldn't play before and go longer without my hands and fingers fatiguing. For me, soft tapping and focusing on the rhythm works best. Please let me know if you would like to see a separate video on that topic. The third and therefore least important part, in my opinion, that you should focus on is aim. And let me explain this real quick because some of you might say, oh, why is aim at the last place? Aim is definitely the most important thing in Osu. This is again for me personally, because for me, I feel like when I have the stamina and the reading for a map, I can play it like I have relax on. I don't even need to focus on my tapping hand, I can only focus on my aim hand, which makes me like infinitely more consistent and accurate on aiming. Therefore, I took the approach of getting all my reading and stamina in, so my tapping hand is basically working automatically and I have only to focus on the aim. After now talking about the most important skill branches in Osu, I would like to tell you two more tips that I found out over the time were really useful to increase the enjoyment I had in each and every session and overall improve as well. Please, please, please don't overthink anything you do. Play the game and just enjoy it. If you really want to do the easy mod and get better at reading, but you in the end end up not enjoying the game as much, then don't play the easy mod. I mean, if it helps you, you can do it in little portions, but overall, most of the time you spend in this game should be you absolutely enjoying everything you do. And hitting the satisfying circles we all love. Also, if you want to spend some money, you could try a different keyboard, you can try the tablet if you haven't tried it yet, because I think many people who play a mouse right now could also really enjoy playing the tablet. Um, that's how it went for me when I made the switch. And of course, uh, a monitor with a really high refresh rate. And now I would really like to show you how I personally set up my sessions after what I'm worst at, and that is stamina. Usually one of my sessions takes about two to three hours, which I divide in three parts. I start off with the easy mods and basically low AR maps to improve my ability to read very dense maps. Afterwards, I proceed by starting to play low BPM maps and tech maps in general, which don't put too much force on your fingers, but teach you the technical aspects of Osu. This is mainly to improve consistency and act, and also found out that the warm-up is really important, that I start out at like 150 BPM and slowly work my way up to 250 so there won't be any chance of injuries in any of my hands. Then I make a transition to the more challenging maps which I aim to have about 90 to 95 percent egg. These maps are already starting to become more difficult and especially a bit faster which is important because in the end we want to get to over 250 bpm. The third section of my usual sessions I play the maps I really like. Mostly really difficult maps that are often really hard to pass and I have sub 85% accuracy on them. These require insane stream speed and stamina, which I'm already warmed up for and which will help me to let my tapping hand do everything by itself. So that way I set up my specific sessions. I Keep in mind, I don't do this every time, I do this most of the time. When I feel like starting with 250 BPM because my hand feels perfect, then I'll do it. But most of the time I start off slow and work my way up, so my consistency and also my stamina, which I'm worst at, 
will thrive, my stamina will increase and hopefully sooner or later no longer be my weakness which I always have to focus on. Lastly, a quick recap of what we just learned. The most important thing to keep in mind is always to take enough breaks and try to not get hurt. Because what we are trying to do here and achieve is that we want to get better at Osu. And to get better at Osu, we will have to play this game for a while and we cannot play the game if we don't take care of our hands properly and don't warm them up according to the maps we play. Also. Another quick and fun tip is that you should try to focus on unique maps, unique things that you in particular are really good at. Because I found that I always had the greatest successes and the most fun when I played these maps. And now please enjoy game. Hey everyone, thank you very much for watching. Videos like these will now get uploaded each and every week. If you want to stay updated on my also profile and a general on my improvement, please consider subscribing because videos like these take quite some time to edit. Also, if you would like to see me playing live, please consider checking out my Twitch, which is Jackie underscore Chan. Next episode will be out in a week. Leave a like and comment and let me know if there's anything else I can improve to help you guys out or if there's any special topic you guys definitely want to see. I read every comment and thank you very much, have an amazing week and peace out.